time it's before. But this one actually requires a somewhat longer intro than some of my good brothers would prefer. But the story behind this song, the song is all in Faroese, and I'm just revealing my intention for Faroese folk ballads yet again. But the story that it tells is actually a very popular part of Heinz Friedman, which is the history of the Norse kings. And it is the fall of Olav Tryggvason. Olav Tryggvason was the first king of Norway to really start badgering people into converting to Christianity, and earned himself a very varied reputation. And so he ended up making a few people a little bit torn about him. No less, a couple of the earls in Norway, who he had typically undone their father in order to steal the crown, but then also he had committed some offenses to anger the kings of both Sweden and Denmark at the time. And so the Norwegian earls, the Denmark king and the Swedish king all congregate at this island called Svold. And Olav is coming back from one expedition or another on his great longboat. And he had a great longboat built. Well, they say he had it built for him, but actually I think he stole it from somebody else. But he called it the Ormer of Lange, and it's translated as Long Serpent. It was a very massive ship. And he's coming back, and he gets ambushed. And so the Danes go against him first, I believe, and Olav's forces repel the Danes and give them insults and take back to Denmark with them. And then it's the Swedes' turn. The Swedes come and they attack him a second time, and he repels them as well and gives them even more insults to take back to Sweden. But then it's time for the Norwegian earls and forces they've gathered to head the third attack. I don't know if it's the third attack, but Olav Tregevesen says to his troops, beware of these gentles because they are good, hardy Norwegians like ourselves. And so the attack begins. Olav's at a disadvantage. He starts getting pushed back, and he starts to, the battle starts to win against his favor. There is a young bowman on the longship, on the Ormer on Lange. His name is Einar Thomas Shelley. Well, pronounced in fairly as Thomas Shelley, and Thomas gets the end of Norris. And he's all of 18 years old at this point in time. But he's also, he is at that point one of the best archers in all of Norway. And so he starts to defend the boat by firing arrows off the boat, off the attacking forces, and onto the neighboring vessels. And he actually almost hits one of the Norwegian earls. Norwegian earl, Earl Eric, I believe, he's sitting on a stool. An arrow goes bam, right in between his legs. On the stool he's sitting, he stands up, and another arrow, bam, right in the mass, right over his shoulder. And he says, okay, this will not do. And he gets his best archer over, and you see that very tall man on the ship. Shoot him. And so his best archer fires. The arrow goes in. It hits not Einar, but his bow. His bow breaks, because he has this huge, heavy bow. And it breaks, and it makes this loud noise that reverberates all throughout the long ship. And King Olaf, he hears the sound, and he says, Which means, what is this noise that reverberates through my boat so dreadfully? And Einar Thomas Shelley turns over to him and says, Which means, that is the sound, my king of Norway, breaking from your hand. And so the boat is overrun. Einar Thomas Shelley throws away his bow and picks up a sword and shield and fights valiantly. And not only survives this battle, but befriends the earls and becomes a very prominent figure behind the Norwegian crown for his whole life. He, he dies very much later in Heinz Street, at a very uh, a much older age, um, even by Viking standards. Um, so, uh, but Olaf Tregerson, uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be getting away, so he jumps off the boat with the rest of his men, and they all drown. <laughs> and so that is the tale of the Order of Lange song. It's about 120 verses in length, but I will just do seven. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
Oh, 